What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another Screen Sanctum Reaction News Show Alert. I'm Steve. Today, I'm going to be starting Fallout, the show that everyone's been raving about based on the Bethesda video game, which I have not played. I'm probably going to download it for my PS5 um, while I'm watching the show. But yeah, I haven't played the video game, so I'm not going to get any of the Easter eggs. So if you watch this, more than happy for you to let me know in the comments below things that I missed, like you've been doing for all my shows. So we'll see what's going on with this one. It's an Amazon original. Yeah, I don't really know much about it besides it is a game. So it's going to be interesting. It's kind of like me and Three Body Problem. I didn't know anything about that. I'm three, three episodes in and I'm enjoying it. So we'll see what happens with Fallout. I don't want to talk too much, but before I get into it, if you want to see this full reaction, head over to my Patreon. All right, let's get into Fallout. Episode one, the end now. <laughs> Title card quick. Oh, I know who he plays. So this is before, um, not the apocalypse, right? It's just like, oh, wait. Yeah, I can see he has his regular face. Specter of nuclear war facing this nation for 10 long years to final. It does kind of suck that all you guys who watch the games probably already know what the hell is going on. Why the hell is Cooper Howard working kids' birthday parties? Hey, honey, honey, get with Cooper. Let's get a picture. Uh, you bet. Are they going to show what happens? That would be pretty dope. Coop, coop, do your thumbs up. Who's ready for Kate? All right, you ready, Jamie? Oh, good guy. Is it like... Good guy gets picked on, turns evil. You still took my money. I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. Oh. So they know something might happen. That's scary. Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. Oh, isn't that the logo? The Fallout logo? I hope you found just like this. And if it's bigger than your thumb? Then you can't run. They told us not to bother about it. Oh. Can I have a slice, Dad? No, let me see. <laughs> if I can't muscle you up, please. I want a slice. That cake looks good. Damn, this is going to be that happy 20 minutes turns. Everything goes to shit, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. All right, one piece of cake coming up from my favorite cowgirl. Oh. Is it your thumb or mine? Oh. I smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. Oh. Oh, my God. That is not just a fire. I thought it was, like, post-apocalypse. This is they. someone attacked them and dropped a nuke? I did not know that. Oh. Hopefully they got a bunker somewhere or something. Oh my god, he's not gonna let any everyone in? That's messed up. Jesus. He got the hell out of Dodge. And we know he survives just with a messed up face. Oh, how many bombs are they dropping? Shit. Oh man, maybe I, I should have played the game. Ooh. <laughs> what? My name is Lucy McLean. I also participate in gymnastics club. Wait, did they say the bomb dropped in 2077? Intermediate phys ed. And I dabble in riflery. Oh, cool. There he is. We're still trying to get my brother on board. He'll come around when he's ready. <laughs> he's always on his my phone. My organs are intact. My hygiene well maintained. <laughs> and been unable to... Oh, blind out. At least... One I'm not related to. I don't know what any of this means. 
<laughs> All right, so that's Lucy. Right, I guess Lucy's getting married already. <laughs> they have bobbleheads of this thing. Oh, uh, everyone who gets married. That's pretty neat. They share the dress and write their name in it. Feels a little tight. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. <clears throat> After 10 years of cousin stuff, I'm definitely excited for the real thing. Oh my god, what? So everything they do is in the vault, so they don't go outside. Yeah, pretty good technology. Were you scared when you married mom? Me? Hell yeah. Terrified. <laughs> so they were from Vault 31, but the kid went to Vault 33. Vault 31. Must be nerve wracking. My husband could be anybody. I'm aware. Oh, she looks. doesn't even know. know? Let's see who her husband's going to be. Chet. Honestly. It's going to take some time to fix. What's going on? Lucy, I love you. Nope. Well. We all know that, Chet. <laughs> Messing around with your cousin, it's all well and good for kids, but... Oh, God. ...sustainable long-term sexual... Oh my god. All right, who's it going to be? The suspense. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegram. We lost a lot of good people. But Damn, they have a really, really dope cast. Yeah. Who am I marrying? <laughs> God. This is nuts. Do you have a name? Monty. Hmm. Lucky. <laughs> Count. <laughs> it's all about the kids. Uh, Your vaults doctor must check every physical, no? If our measurements are correct, radiation levels on the surface are dropping. Lucy and Monty's children <laughs> will be able to recolonize. Yes. I wonder if there's people already up there now and they just don't know. After 200 years. To Lucy McLean and to this marriage. Is Lucy McLean the, the one you play as in the, in the game? <sighs> Everything's looking happy again. Shows like this. Happiness never lasts. Eh. Dude really wants his cousin. Uh oh. Just as I thought. Looking ominous. Show me to my new home. Hmm, so he moves from 32 to 33. Interesting. Damn, he wants to get started, huh? Downs an ice box, a blender. They they even gave us. <laughs> He's already. Okie dokie. Just keep that coffee hot. It's hot to be sure you. <laughs> Damn. 
Damn, I didn't know this show was like rated R. Uh, is he going to walk in on him or is he going to let the bad guy in? Hmm. I'm guessing he's not a specimen either. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, damn, something did get in. Uh-oh. <laughs> he freaking peaced out. <laughs> See, that's real life. You don't stay to look at what it is. You get the hell out of Dodge. Why is he acting weird? What was that scar? Oh, shit. Uh-oh. That's effed up. That means the entire vault. 32 are raiders? When the hell did he put his boxes on? Oh, shit. Oh, right in the balls. Oh, shit. Lucy can handle, handle herself. She's trained. What? Well, we know she doesn't die, obviously. Good lord. Across the head with the glass bottle. There it is. As one does. Oh! Oh. All right, so raiders are established. I assume they want to come down there and take over. Eesh. Mm -mm. They had no security, huh? Damn, they got all the ammo. And <laughs> she's just got a knife. All right. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh, shit. They're shooting a massacre, huh? Come on. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm guessing Vault 32 are, were taken over by raiders. Hence, the leader who was dead. Oh my god. Yep, she was in on it. Damn. Oh, mm. I hope our friend doesn't die. Oh, please don't die. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Oh. Please don't make me use force. Oh, no. Yes. This guy's on so. Oh. Oh, he's going to... Oh. oh, my God. Oh, right in the eye. Eye for an eye, eh? Oh, she put him in there. Oh, look at his face. There he is, dead. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Might be a little bit too much slow-mo, though. 
Oh, suffocating and stinging. That's funny. The melted film kind of looked like a bomb was dropped. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Like what? Are they just trying to destroy the underground? Like cool. So I'm going to offer you a choice. Them or her. What? Or uh, I hate when I'm confused. You are my world. Damn, he chose his daughter. So they're all gonna die. Shit. You look like your mother. Huh. Run and hide. So people could live on the earth and not be deformed? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, all right. So this looks like the real world. Oh, man. So the real world looks fine, actually. All right. Now we meet Maximus. Kind of looks like... The real world's been all right for quite some time, and they just had no idea. Can you identify this relic? Rotor? Ooh, oh, shit. Circuit. The ability to defend yourself is but one part of you. I've played Horizon Forbidden West. This kind of reminds me of that. So I remember when I first started they had like a fancy name for an item and all it was was a watch. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> oh my god. That's badass armor. Right here. They have technology to fly, but they don't. They can't have a basic fax machine. Interesting. Ooh, are you gonna put it on? That one's brand new. Damn. He was indoctrinated since he was a kid. Good lord. It's just funny with how much technology they have and how much basic shit they don't. We're going to the wild! Hmm. Yeah, why didn't they bring him to celebrate? Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, I thought they had a human wake people up like a rooster. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh. Someone sabotaged their boots. Oh. Oh, that's, that's good. Oh. All right, at least she's alive. No eyeball, but. I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. We're brainstorming here and there's no <laughs> bad ideas in a brainstorm, Maybe but that's not something that we ever do. 
But our first priority has to be to maintain the security of this vault. That means not opening any of our doors. That, that's smart. They don't want to find that. If they did, they wouldn't get to be in charge. I didn't realize that was her brother. It's crazy that there's like civilization going on up there and they have no idea. Hey, Davey. How's your day going? <laughs> Not great. <laughs> Nuka Cola. <sighs> sure, that's an Easter egg. Of course, he's going to help the cousin he's in love with. <laughs> Damn, their vault is really underground. Take care of Norm. I'm going with you. Ha! Ah, of course. Is insane. You don't even know which way to go. That must be actually kind of wild. Never, ever seeing, like, not even knowing what the world is. I just tracked him. Not okay oh. to you if you try to follow me. <laughs> I'm too chicken. Thanks. <laughs> At least he's aware. Ooh, so outside's where a lot of the shit's gonna happen, huh? Oh, there's not even a buffer. Come back here right away. Who are you, old man? Father Time. And yeah, she would have no idea what safe air would feel like. What? Well, actually, she would, because there's safe air down there. So if it was toxic, she would know. I wonder how long it took to build those freaking things. I'm sure her wristband can measure toxicity. Damn, those are still there from 219 years ago? Hmm. Still got an amusement park, eh? Okie dokie. Hmm. He didn't do it. He wasn't even there. Why did you join the Brotherhood? He was in a refrigerator, just like Indiana Jones. I understand you're a friend of Aspirant Dane. And I bet no one batted an eye. You're aware of their injury? Yes. Do you know who did it? No. Your fellow Aspirants say it was you. Like, come on, you would... No, I... I <laughs> he wasn't I, even there. I, I wouldn't. I, I, I wanted it to happen, is that wrong? Yes. Be Knight Titus, new squire. Damn. Alright, he got what he wanted. Hopefully his friend doesn't think it was him. It's not so bad. At least there no one steals your rations. You know who did it? Well, I've narrowed it down to any one of those assholes. <laughs> <laughs> Give him wedgies. Yes, it was you. Yeah, they asked me the same thing. <laughs> it's funny though, he looks guilty as fuck. It is your most sacred duty to protect the Brotherhood. To your Lord, Knight Titus. There are a lot of sacred duties. Bye. God. of the Enclave has escaped to harm our nation. Mm, so the Enclave is the bad guy? 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they had to draw those. Oh, he's got a pup. He's got a target. I thought their job was just to find relics. They got all these helicopters and blimps and they don't have a real bathroom. That's wild to me. Oh. Oh, a, killed him with a baby doll? What the hell? Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year. Cuts pieces off and puts him right back in the ground. Damn. Bingo. Shit. They have IVs. You're telling me the supreme badass we're looking for. In a body? A God forsaken mute hell. I mean a corpse. Feral goon can't abide a chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. So, I want. I'm guessing this is gonna be Goggins. That's crazy. They had an IV in the ground. I can't see. Oh shit. Yeah, that's him. Oh shit. Damn, he was kept alive by IVs for 219 years. Why is this an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo? The weirdest circle jerk I've ever been invited to. <laughs> what? Welcome back. I'm Huncho. Now you don't even know us. No. That can't be good for them. Should I shoot him? <laughs> you shut the fuck up. <laughs> Somebody may have run from the enclave. No, everyone's oh, looking for him. You think I'd give a good goddamn about that? How about we put you right back in that hole so Don Pedro can have his fun with you for the next 30 years. Good luck with that. Too many characters already. Whenever somebody says they're doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. Blew his fucking head off. The ghoul. That's his name? <laughs> Wasn't he a good man? Or does he have some skeletons in his closet? Oh. Alright, I, I get that he's like the villain, most likely. <laughs> but like... I mean, it was a good first episode. I just, hopefully in the next few episodes, they give us like a motive of what is actually like, when we met him, I think his name was Cooper. And he seemed like he was a good guy with his daughter. Like they didn't give us any backstory. And now for some reason, they're searching him out to dig him up. And he's a villain. So I hope we, we learn something about his past because I don't get it. Well, obviously it's the first episode. They're not going to tell you everything, but... A lot of times they do at least tell you the motive of the bad guy, but he's not even the one that people are after. They're all after that guy with the glasses and the dog. I don't know why did these three go to find him to try to, to get the bounty? I, I, I don't know. There's really nothing in here, this episode, that has kind of let us know. Um, the other thing that's kind of odd or interesting is the choice of the future. Because when the episode first starts, I, f I thought it was like 1950. Or 1940 or something like that um you know with the way the tvs were and the cars and the technology all right so it's probably takes place in the past but then it takes place in 2077 and then now we're 219 years later which is interesting 
So we're really, really into the future. And um, it's just a little bit confusing, but I'm guessing that's just a choice that they made to make this world future not super futuristic. And then, you know, the bombs hit and then it's 200 years later and there's not too much technology, but there's enough, which had me asking other questions. Is why is there ridiculously good technology like those androids or the robots, the, the guys in the robot suits, the helicopters, the blimps, the weapons? Like there's really, really good technology out there, but then there's like no electricity or no bathrooms, like regular toilets. Um, it looks like they're kind of trying to figure out what basketball is. Like they have the gist of it using rocks and like a, a square metal nest or something like that, but they don't seem to have evolved very much. It was interesting how they set up Vault 32 and Vault 33. Like that was, I was not expecting that. But they did give a little hint because the person that they say is like the leader of the vault, the ones that go to the vault to introduce them at first, they apologized or gave their condolences for the, the leader of Vault 32 passing away. So that was obviously foreshadowing because that those were not the people from Vault 32. They were raiders from Earth that came down and took it over. So I'm kind of curious of what their motive is down there, seeing as you know, Vault 33, they thought Earth wasn't going to be habitable until Lucy's kids were like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, you know, a few years down the road. But obviously, what we see with Maximus and that group, Earth is fine. And these raiders came down. Why? Like, what do they want from down there? Do they want Lucy's dad for some reason? I don't think they went down there for a better life because it doesn't look like there's too many humans on Earth just certain pockets. So if they want to move somewhere or go somewhere and take it over and claim it as their own, they can go anywhere they want. What was kind of the significance of them needing to go into the vault? I don't know. I do not know, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So yeah, I was just reading like the synopsis. It says in 2077, Cooper and his daughter, Janie, endure a nuclear attack. We saw that. 219 years later, Lucy from Vault 33 marries a raider. And then seeking her missing father, Maximus becomes a squire hunting for the Enclave. So the guy with the glasses and the dog, I guess, is the Enclave. And then the ghoul was Cooper. So he's technically not a, a main villain or will he be the main villain? Is he going to find the Enclave first and get whatever the Enclave has? And then everyone's going to be after the ghoul? I don't know. It would have been a lot easier for me if I had played the games. So I'm just going to be learning as the episodes go. And it looks like we have eight episodes. So I have a lot to watch to kind of catch up. But what video game is this one based off of is the question. That's what I would like to know. And is Lucy the main character in the video games? Again, I don't know that either. But I do recognize the cartoon character with the thumbs up. Um, I do recognize the robots or the, the guys in the mechanical suits. Like I've seen those on posters and stuff when I'm in like the PlayStation store. Um, Cause last night I was on and I was this close to buying Fallout 4 to kind of play it before this to maybe at least do like the prologue to see if they give some tidbits. But I don't know, after one episode I'm enjoying it, but I'm really, really confused. The one downside of the episode for me or flaw, um, it doesn't make the episode bad, was I, I loved that scene, like the massacre scene, like it was well shot, but I, I feel like they overdid it with the slow-mo. Like there was a lot of slow motion in that. And a lot of times action scenes like that are really, really good when it's in regular speed because you could see it and, and you kind of feel it. Like you see if someone hits a table at full speed, like it looks like it hurts. When you do slow motion, it's for artistic qualities, but you don't really get the sense of kind of pain unless they show you like brutalizing pain, like blowing somebody's head off or like slicing their throat or something like that. So the scene was cool. I just felt like there was a little bit too much slow motion for me, but it was a really good episode and I am looking forward to seeing more. Um, with most shows, I give it three episodes before I like quit on it if I don't like it. But a lot of times I could tell after episode one because there are so many questions still out there that I want to watch it so I get my answers at least. I honestly don't know after one episode what the plot of this show is. I don't know if that because the episode didn't do a great job of telling us 
Is it because I just, I'm not great at picking up on it? Or is it because all of that information is from the video game and you all like already know, so you're just watching it in live action? I don't know, but it's enjoyable. So let me know, what did you all think of episode one of Fallout? What did you think of my reaction? Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, guys.